What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. This is Gabriel Marino from Motivated Painters. I'm going to walk you through this uh, matte finish. This will be a quick video, about 10 minutes I think. But um, anyways, grab yourself a coffee or something and uh, come along for the ride with me. So I'm using my Eco gun. Uh, this, this gun, you plug it into your air, you shoot the panel with it, and then gets rid of all electric static. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting a wet bed on. I'm using PPG Envirobase, and I've been using the wet bed lately, and uh, I've been having amazing results from cleaner paint jobs to better blending. It's honestly a game changer for me. I do like maybe five to one, six to one with a reducer, and uh, it works amazing. And I just kind of do uh, a wet on wet application, really. Um, and then I do 15 PSI for my base coat, get coverage as you're gonna see here right you get coverage this stuff covers really nice uh, the base code is activated so it has T493 92 and 94 then I go to 27 psi and I apply on a code is um, like wet on wet almost right so I didn't let it flash off or anything like that just like that and uh, this has been working like really amazing for me. And then what I do is I blow the crap out of it really well. I blow it so much that I could sand it. So we don't want any water trapping in there or anything like that. And I've had zero issues, zero peelbacks. Um, it's been really good with the activated uh, base coat. That's super important when you're doing matte finishes. You have to wash them really, 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 really well. And if you can get yourself a static gun, um, it does make a difference. Obviously, if you're painting in a dirty environment, the static gun is not going to do much, right? Because there's a, a bigger problem, which is very dirty uh, environment. So this static gun, you just plug it in. It doesn't need to be uh, charged or anything like that. As the air goes through, something happens inside. And I don't know exactly how it works, but it works. <laughs> I tell you because I've been using it for, for a while now. And I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. These are 967 bucks. Seems like a lot, but when you, when it saves you a lot of time polishing, uh, it's worth it, if you ask me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do the same thing with this uh, bumper, with the base coat application. Um, I'm gonna do the, um, the wet bed. So I lightly put it on top of the primer, but not really. So I kind of faded it in. And then I put on, like I put on like a coat and a half, on uh, where I'm not gonna put a lot of base. And uh, this has been working so well, especially when it comes to blending colors. Um, it's very, very. It makes it a lot easier, to be honest, uh, blending the colors. From what I have noticed, anyways. But uh, you know, everybody's different. Everybody sprays differently. Everybody sprays uh, different paint. So everything, you know. I can't really tell you to do something, so I, I can. What I do tell you is, don't do anything I say. I'm just showing you what works for me, and uh, yeah, hopefully you know, it, you know, you can learn something. Same thing, 15 psi. Do that. Put put the pressure up to 27 psi now, and uh, this helps to. If this color is super easy to spray. If it was like a high metallic, I would probably do 27 psi. Then. Like, so, so do what I do now, and then back away a little bit even more after this, and uh, go slower to kind of even out all the metallics, let it flash, and then do another one like that if I have to. But for this color, it's pretty easy. So I did those two coats, right, of color, then I baked the crap out of it so it could be really, really hard. And now I'm just doing a control coat at 18 PSI. I'm using a Carbonio Evo. 1.3 HT which is high transfer efficiency those are the guns that I like to use the most because they really do a good job at high transfer efficiency so as you can tell I blend it out nicely very nice 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 I'm gonna do the same thing over here 18 psi and boom just quick quite far away from the panel. You don't want to make any wet edges or uh, anything like that.
This is how I clean uh, my guns after I spray color through them. I have a little bit of water cleaner and spray it through. I make sure I get the ring there. Make sure you get all that out of there, right? And then what I do is I put the pressure down probably to four PSI or five PSI and then turn the cap loose. And uh, what that does is it kind of like backfires and then the back, back cleans um, the, the inside of the gun really, really, really well. And I love doing this because right there I have it at 7.7.5. .7 but this cleans the gun really well. Um, because once I put it, once I go to my gun wash and clean it out, then the gun is basically clean and you don't have to spend so much time cleaning the gun inside and also your uh, cleaner, your machine lasts way longer. So this is what I use. That's the ceramic clear and then that's uh that's the hardener of it so that's um slv matte finish the matting agent and uh, this is what i've been using for years now it's been very 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 well um slv 485 or something like that but just pause the video if you need to see it i'm using a 1.3 right now hte evo um uh, welcome obviously because this is like my favorite gun and uh, I do 31 PSI on these matte finishes because from factory they have a very large peel and uh, so I try to replicate that as much as I can but you basically what you want to do is I the way that I've been doing it for years with very good results is I put on one very like I put on one wet coat as you can see Put it on nice, 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 nice and even. And uh, make sure you get good coverage. Make sure you get good. Everything is smooth and everything is uniform because there is no polishing this this uh, this finishes, okay? There is no polishing them. You can't denib them and then try to polish it because then they go shiny. So that's the way I do it. Put one heavy coat on and then I let it flash for at least 15 minutes. You want to make sure that the shine of this clear coat because right there obviously it looks shiny you want to make sure that it's dulled down almost completely and uh, then you put on a second coat So as you can see, you see how it went down, right? There's no more shine to it, right? You can see the difference there from my freshly applied clear and then what would have been, what had been flashed off. It's very important. Sometimes I've done a couple of uh, testings and if you put it on while it's still shiny, then it might not do what you need it to do. You need this clear coat to have time to do what it needs to do because uh, we're also gonna run into problems. So this one is kind of, uh, you have to slow down to speed up. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, it looks amazing, right? Um, uh, one thing I do also is, before baking it, I'll let it flash off for another at least 15 minutes. You want it to kind of do what it's supposed to do. You want it to matten down a little bit, to flatten out a little bit before you bake it, or else you might run into problems um, with it staying shiny in certain spots or you never know so I take my time with these I don't you know if you're super 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 busy I really strongly suggest you set the time aside to do a job like this so that you can take your time and not rush and uh, you know do a good job do a good job that you could be be proud of so um, yeah, so I hope you learned something out of this video. I hope that it's been useful to you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. You know the drill. I'm very grateful that you're here. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know uh, below. We'd love to see what you guys and girls 
have to say. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. EverythingMotivatedPainters.com. You can get that I've been using here. And uh, there it is. Shines on point. Colors on point. I'm very, very, very happy with it. So yeah. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Because I touched it. And it's not perfect because I painted it. But it's very, very, very close to it. And I'm uh, very, very happy uh, the way this comes out. All right. Love you. Take care. Peace.